hello everyone so welcome back to my channel today I'll be telling you the secrets about how uh, the professional affiliate marketers sustain an affiliate marketing business just like me so a lot of people also have a query about uh, their Google Ads are getting banned after trying to uh, run affiliate campaigns on them so following the steps uh, in the video will also prevent your account from getting banned so uh, basically we use something called uh, tracking with which uh, we track our sales and according to the data we optimize our campaigns to get the best results so for example uh, when we have the data we can see if a product is uh, getting sales for a particular keyword and uh, we run ads only on that keyword that are getting sales Hence, uh, basically, we can uh, save money by not running ads on the keywords which uh, are uh, not getting sales, which will eventually reduce our cost and improve our profit margins, even if uh, we spend the same amount of money on ads, which we were doing. So let's jump right into this. So the step one would be uh, signing up for a 14-day trial of uh, Click Magic. So to do that, you go to tarushkane.com backslash click magic okay and then just press enter now uh, once you are here you click on start for free here on the top right and now you can just enter in your details and sign up uh, with your details here okay and just create your account so that was the simplest step of the series so you can do it uh, by your own so once you sign up uh, for the account you will get into the account and you will be on this page the home page so once you're signed up and on you're on this screen we now need to integrate the clickbank accounts with the clickmagic account so to integrate the accounts together click on the profile icon on the top right corner and uh, click on settings once and then we click on the clickbank tab here and uh, here we need to set a clickbank secret key basically so you can type in a bunch of letters and numbers about uh, 10 to 12 characters and uh, we will keep this stored you can copy it and maybe paste it in, click, in notepad or something but due to privacy reasons I'm not going to do that so you can paste it in your notepad and save it click on update settings once these settings are updated then you click on the question mark icon here and now we are going to scroll down uh, till add your instant notification URL option uh, I guess step 3 this one and this will be the instant notification URL of us now uh, you will also copy this and uh, again put it back in a notepad okay now this URL will be used to send notifications to click magic uh, to pick up the conversion information from Clickbank basically so now you log into your Clickbank account and if you reach this page you click on accounts in the left hand side column and then select which account you want to open up and once you click on the account you will be on a page like this so once you are here you click on the vendor settings option on the top right corner once you're into vendor settings click on my site now you scroll down to the bottom here advanced tools you click on edit here on the top on the right and once you click edit I have already added it uh, the secret key and the notification URL so that's the reason uh, I'm not changing anything right now but you will add your serial key here and then your instant notification URL here and uh, you will see the test IPN button here also where you see verified right now so you need to click that and this should get uh, verified once you've saved it so now uh, let's move on to the third step that is adding the click magic code to your website header so first uh, you click on the campaigns and if it asks you to create a project you can just create a project and once you are on this page you click on tools and go to website code option here once you click on website code click uh, custom website code once you click custom website code here it will uh, give you two options click tracking and conversion tracking so if you remember conversion tracking we've already set using the instant notification URL so we just need to set the click tracking now so you will copy this code and put it to your website header 
it depends on which uh, website builder you use depending on that you can just add this code to the website header and uh, yeah this will track your clicks and conversions will be tracked by the instant notification URL okay so you don't need to do anything with the conversion tracking and just uh, click on next and uh, this is conversion tracking again so you just don't need to do anything once you've added the code just close it from here and this is done so let's move on to the next uh, step step four that is integrate Google Ads account with your uh, Clickbank account so you log into your Google Ads account here click on tools and uh, go to conversions under measurement so here you click on the new conversion action option and click websites and then enter your uh, landing page URL click scan and once you scan it uh, you will see these options here you will see this add a conversion action manually click on this okay select this as page views for now and I'll name it page view demo and for page views do not use the value for conversion action okay select this to one not uh, if you select every this is uh, better for purchases but for clicks uh, we select one and then click on done leave rest of the things as it is now once you click on done you can click uh, save and continue Now on the next page click on use Google Tag Manager option here. Okay now you will see a conversion ID and you will see a page view uh, demos code. So you now open up your Clickbank account go back to vendor settings and my site and under here you will see integrated sales reporting. You will click add tracking code here and what you do is you will choose uh, Google AdWords from here click add now in Google AdWords ID you will put in your conversion ID okay and in page view label you will input your uh, the label that they gave you it will be a combination of letters and numbers you put this here leave it as it is now go back to your Google Ads account again and we will have to create another conversion action for purchases so click new conversion action website enter the domain again so enter the domain click scan again and then click on add conversion action manually category as purchases and again I'll type in demo and then don't use uh, for this also don't use any value uh, because it will just cause confusions click uh, keep this checked don't use value for the conversion and keep this to every okay and keep all the settings as same and then just click done and save and continue and uh, use Google Tag Manager click here and now you will see the purchases uh, link here also if you see conversion ID will be the same uh, only for both uh, both the cases so conversion IDs need to be entered only once here yeah. and now just purchase label you can enter it for the purchases and then uh, you select uh, affiliate because you are an affiliate and then where to fire that means where do you want to fire the the codes we want it on page view as well as the confirmation page so we will check both and just click on save Now once you click on save and you come back here you will see that uh, these details of page view label purchase label and uh, account ID and everything. So now it, it should stay say inactive by default but you need to click on this play icon and uh, that will activate and start triggering your codes. Now you see it's active here so now it's ready. So now let's uh, jump to the next step that's step 5 create a click magic tracking link okay so this is uh, for example a click magic account uh, first you need to do the integration steps okay and after that to create your affiliate uh, link into a tracking link uh, what you need to do is click on this links and once you click here 
now uh, you can click on the new link option and here you can just give a name for example this and uh, URL slug is also just a name you can put anything here and now in the primary URL uh, for example this is a Clickbank, uh, a Clickbank uh, link for some product you can put this Clickbank link here and then you need to click on the settings option add click ID parameter click on this and go to Clickbank affiliate click on Clickbank affiliate there are two options Clickbank vendor and affiliate so you need to click on Clickbank affiliate okay this will add the TID is equal to click ID here now you click on create link okay once you create the link you will see this XZ pure this is the link now uh, what you need to do is you will uh, copy the link you can click on the wrench copy tracking link and if you have a look here this is going to look like this and this is what you need to add on your landing page in all the buttons instead of uh, the uh, direct uh, hop link okay so once you have this set up you can click on this wrench icon here click on copy tracking link and this tracking link needs to be on your buttons if you see if you see on the bottom left you will see uh, the link uh, on the button that says clickmagic.com backslash something something so that's the tracking code that you get so on all the buttons you will put in this instead of the clickbank link because that's the that's a cloaked link and that's the reason why uh, Google suspends the accounts uh, of people so you need to use this to do it a proper way without getting the account suspended okay so you add this on the pages of your lander so these are the complete steps of uh, setting up your conversion trackings but now you also need to know uh, how to use these and the settings you need to do in Google Ads basically creating the tracking link for Google Ads uh, using the URL builder this one okay so using this we need to create a tracking link and uh, that I will teach you in the next video uh, how to create tracking link so if you can get at least uh, 20 likes to this video I would uh, know that you are interested in this topic and I will create the second part of this video to show you exactly what you need to do to make the setup work so do subscribe to this channel and do like the video and do show some love thank you bye bye